this is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. George, congratulations, IRB Junior Pro of the Year. How does that feel? Yeah, pretty good, to be fair. Um, shocked when I first found out, but massively honoured and privileged to uh, pick up the award. And, you know, I'd like to think I pick it up on behalf of the lads who are out there in Italy and, and the management there, really. Yeah, um, talk us through your summer. You had a pretty uh, outstanding summer for, for England in the 20s as a team, as an individual. Yeah, it was uh, very enjoyable. We obviously went to Italy to the uh, World Cup and you know, we had a pretty good run of uh, winning some games. We got to the final against New Zealand and come up short, unfortunately. But you know, we'll probably give it our best shot, and we won't do anything different if we weren't doing it again. There's a couple of those guys that you played against in that final rock for the ward as well. Yeah, massive respect for both of them. Two great players, and obviously they came up with uh, winning on the day, which is you know fair play to them. They're probably the better team. And um, take you back to uh, the spring as well. It was a successful Six Nations as well for the under 20s, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, I think the you know, first time we won a Grand Slam in two or three years. So um, we just you know worked hard during that period of time and tried tried to uh, train as well as we can and paid off in the end. So what's been the key for that that group, that uh, under 20s group? What's been the key to the success? I think, like I just said, just you know, there's obviously a great team spirit there. We've obviously played together at 16s and 18s before, so we knew each other pretty well. And then you know we. Couple that with training hard every day and having a good attitude to, to you know to our goals and I think you can see that we obviously won the Six Nations and we just all came up short of the World Cup. And you also had a, a run in the uh, first team here at Tigers this season. How's the experience been for you? Yeah, it's been great. I've loved every minute of it. To be fair, um, it's obviously been pretty tough with not the you know starts the season that we wanted, but. You know, the experiences for you know, a young player like me have been pretty invaluable and you know, ones in which I'll learn from, hopefully, in the up and coming weeks. Yeah. Um, and looking ahead to those up and coming weeks, it's back to the Viva Premiership this weekend. What, what's the targets now as a group of players and for you as an individual? I think we've just got to get back on the winning track and you know, we're doing that by working hard during the week as a team and giving ourselves the best shot um, to win at the weekend. And, and, from a personal point of view, I've just got to try and, you know, try and get in the teams at first because obviously we've got two great four halves, you know, at the club in, in Floody and Jez. So, you know, I've just got to try and train well and whether I play it, first team, second team, try and take the chance. Yeah. Now, take you back to the award. Um, what was the reaction of your, your family and friends when, when they found out that you were junior player? Of the year? Happier than me, I think. Um, yeah, they were pretty proud and quick to congratulate me and stuff so I know it's always nice to pay them back with a little something like that after all they've done for me in my career up to yet. And where's the trophy? So at home, up north, I thought I'd give my mum or she'd get upset. Quite a place I don't imagine. Yeah, yeah, in the living room thing. <laughs>